Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, and still the voice of hardcore boxing, and I'm joined today by Ron Lyle. How are you doing Ron? Good to see you Russ. Back by popular demand. Thank you very much. Uh, I've had a lot of emails, <laughs> getting you back on again. <laughs> what for? Have I got a funny face? Have you got a what? A funny face, is that why I'm not No, they it? always say, can you get Farmer Sugden on again? Farmer Sugden? Well, this is, I need to change my eyes, I've just bought one or two more. But, uh, still here, though, so I'm not completely gone. I don't know. Right, we'll get straight into business then. Uh, got oh, by the way, I've heard you've been, uh, got some good uh, plans for the channel, I've heard mean, good things about it. Yeah, yeah, we've got a bit of good news, aren't you? Got a backer. Ah, well, look, you work well, hard. That company's going to help me out, like. You work hard. You don't say everything necessarily I'd like to yeah. on the channel, but mm. yes, you, you're captivating. You've got a bit of style about you. You've just got to be careful not to go off a line, but like, that's like me up once or twice, or so. I know, yeah. And I'm not very happy, and I, I have got a lip on me a bit. What about the opponents you've been putting our fighters in? No, 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 no. And uh, you have made you eat your, what is it, hat once or twice yeah. because you've said certain shows I've been running up to them didn't look very good and they've turned out good shows haven't they? Yeah, they are yours. So we have had a couple of stinkers don't we Dan? No. Oh man. When you said they were going to be stinkers they haven't been. You said about Tommy Franks. I always say that though don't I? You said about <laughs> Tommy Franks last opponent and he was a good opponent. Yeah it was a good opponent yeah Thank but you. Uh, so you know I thought Tommy had been look I'm a bit upset that you do the Tony Edwards fight hadn't happened. I get I'm the one that gets all the stick though aren't I Dennis? No no no, no. You're you you've got a channel and you were supposed to take people's opinions and try to be impartial. Mm. Which you you've you're very knowledgeable and you've got a bit of style about it. So I don't mind a bit of criticism. If it's, uh, Some people are insecure and take it to heart though, then don't listen, they? Listen, you know, like you get criticism, that means you're relevant. Yeah, yeah. If it's nobody talks true. about you, whether it's good or bad, that means like no, no, you, you don't mean anything. So if you're getting slagged off or people, that means you're bothering people or you're relevant. So yeah. if you're getting slagged off for us, that means you're relevant and you're making some waves, which, yeah. obviously, which obviously are. So you've yeah. done, you've done well with this channel, fantastic. Mm. To say I don't get access, I Access to me. Well, MTK. I've got access to you, isn't that? MTK lads were offering you to get access. You know that, don't you? Yeah, the, I know he rung you up, didn't he? Yeah, so, so you know, and I think that's always there. So like, look at look at stable they've got. Fantastic. Mm, I might have got some off on that. They've got some fantastic. So you've obviously uh, made, made made some waves, like I say, and uh, people sitting up and taking notice. So. You're ready for to go at next level, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, we're looking at it, and yeah, you know, like I said, all the people who don't want to come on the channel. So you know, when you want get to, to that next them. level, you'll probably end up having to have a makeup artist and that follow you about. <laughs> and that needs a new hat. I need to get oh, you a new hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Rich, can I bring you back, pal? Oh, it's gone. Uh, Wait, we'll go straight into business then, no messing about. Rich, can I ring you back, pal? I'm, 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 just with, I'm just with Russ, he just wants me to do this interview with him. And ch shall I ring you back? I'm, I think I might be coming up that way, so I'll come and see you. Alright, well I'll call the Institute and see you in a bit. Alright, love, I'll see you at six. Richard Tower says hello to you. Hello Send Richard, you how are you doing? He says, hello Richard, how are you doing? No, I didn't, you didn't sound very enthusiastic here. No, I said, is he alright? Oh, right? See, that tone <laughs> went up a little bit. <laughs> Monotone went and uh, he went a little bit. Well, you're in a conversation with him, aren't you? Richard. He's not phoned to you, isn't he? Yeah. Is it? He's, he's a bit embarrassed now. We've pulled him up because <laughs> he didn't sound enthusiastic about saying hello. <laughs> that's all right, Rich. That's right, in Rich. front of all these millions of viewers and all, Rich. Millions of viewers. So that's your standards now, Russ. Is that my standards? You've got to smart him up. I don't like this hat he's wearing. He's getting a bit old. You bought me it. I know, but 1979, weren't it? Were it? Tom Baker. I'll, uh, I'll ring you back in a bit, Russ. Uh, Rich. All right, pal. Ta-ra, Rich. Ta-ra. Hmm. You're doing alright, you knew it, Jim. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Oh, cash coming on all right. We're really happy with his progress here. Yeah. He's, he's really working hard. He's puffing his chest out now when he walks about, isn't he? A bit like you. Yeah, a bit like me. <laughs> You've got a puffy chest, haven't you? I like to stick it out a bit. Yeah. Like Graham Soonis, like a peacock, mm. you know, in his pomp. You know, you know, since I met you, yeah. your ego has grown. Has it? Yeah. He's sticking it to me today, isn't he? I'm giving you some today. Right, uh, right then. What's the latest with Josh? Well, I know we've got a meeting in, in about an hour with, with Mick and Josh. Uh, what, what are we going to do? We've. Um, What's happening with. We, we're we're getting him a very, very credible opponent for the boundary show. We had a plan A, but now it's to plan well, B. Well, we've got plan A, plan B, plan C plan C, with, yeah. with, with Josh, and we're just going to go through it with, with Mick and Josh and uh, see which route we want to take. But obviously, it's still progressing and moving forward, so um, we're, they're happy and I'm happy how things are progressing. Look where we've come from in 12 months, is it? Not even that, is it? It's 355 days, isn't it, when he fights since he last lost? So it's under a year, it could be four and all. Well, it will be four and all, won't it? So... Well, that's the plan. And that's what we said, but we also... Well, you said, didn't you? There's got to be no mistakes. There can't be any mistakes, no, can we? No, exactly, it does it, really. But he's, he's, he's served his apprenticeship, been round block a few times, he's been kicking up pillars. He's had... He's uh, had decisions against him. Uh, a lot, you? Got the decision, the latest one... Well, the latest worst one was the, the decision against him in Europe, but... Uh, Hopefully, if I'd have been in that position, I'd have got that fight here in Barnsley or Sheffield, yeah. and uh, that re that split decision against him yeah. well, probably would have been a uh, unanimous would have been a unanimous uh, for us. So, who knows? I think that uh, he's at that stage in his career now, Josh, where he just wants to go for it, doesn't he? Being good fights because he just dealt with a kid 28 and one a southpaw. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but we know we'll knock that kid back, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, and they didn't make it knock it back, did they? No. He, he said, yeah. They rolled, rolled dice, didn't they? It People didn't. were a bit like that about it, weren't they, before we fought him? And he came through, didn't he? But he's shown, he's shown his metal and uh, yeah. substance and uh, yeah. upwards and onwards, so the, the, the show goes on. Right, so, so we're going to deal with Josh in the next couple of days of a meeting later. Tyrone Nurse. Um, yeah, against, well, uh, Darren Tetley. Darren Tetley, what's uh, that? Well, the stumbling block originally was how much Darren Tetley wanted. So there's two ways of saying no, I don't want to fight you. I'd say no, or he asked for too much money. So we matched what they were asking for. Right. Um, so this is from Oxford's mouth. Guarantee, guarantee plus commission on tickets. And, uh, and he's pulled out. Right, so he don't want so, so two yeah. three weeks he's known about this and it's took him three weeks to pull out so not overly happy and I'm sure and Tyrone is not obviously overly happy about that because that were a smashing fight and it were a good selling fight on on the bands of the show so I think that's gonna fall by the wayside um, and you know we've got some good fights on it anyway you've got Cash Alley who's who's uh, I think he's in box record number eleven is he. And we hadn't really started. He's only had one fight with us, but oh, Cash Alley. Yeah, Cash Alley in Britain. So yeah, yeah, he's uh, on the show, and then you've got Perry Audi. Some good, good sellers on there, and uh, Keenan Wainwright's on there. Kane, Kane, Salvin, and all things on there. We've got Suf. Suf, you know what I mean? Yeah, his lad. Yeah, so we, we've, we've got, you know, the the cards, uh, a good card anyway. So, and it's my first show that I'm, I'm going to be doing. Barrows in Metrodome, um, independently for a you know for a long long time, and happy to work with Richard at Barrows in Metrodome and Cash was on it though, isn't he? That's what I just said. Yeah, saying Cash was on it. So he's 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 going to make some waves in the heavyweight division. You know my words, yeah. And he's in a good fight. Yeah. Who's Cash in with? Uh, the kid at Chris Aston's. Um, one one of Chris Aston's. Yeah. Who who fancies the job? So, do you think there's something going on behind the scenes where Darren Tetley's pulled out? I don't know, but there's all sorts of goods off in boxing and there's ways of not being up front about taking fights and he might have been offered a few more quid now to take another fight, but the Tyrone Nurse fight, Tyrone's a name, former British champion. From the same area? From the same area, it's, it's a great like local derby and even if he gets a better financial deal which you might say he's got a better financial deal I don't think he will have 
uh, but he might make out as though he has. Uh, for me, it sounds like he didn't want to fight, and, and it's a shame because uh, it's a good, it's a good fight. And if and if Dan Tetley were to beat Tyrone Nurse, it's a, it's a massive scalp that at this at this stage of his career. So if I'd have been his manager, I'd have took that fight because. You know, you'd be saying, how much, he, how fresh is Tyrone? I love Tyrone, Nurse. I, think, I love his ability. But if I were the uh, techless people, I'd be saying, I've got to try, I've got to beat people like Tyrone, Nurse. If I'm his well, CV, I shocking, Darren Tetlers. Have you seen his CV? Yeah, it's, it's a shocker. Isn't yeah. it? If I, if I fancy myself that much, I'd be taking the Tyrone, Nurse. Yeah. Like, so that's that's all there is to it. I know he's undefeated, but. And this is what I can't get my head around at times, I blow a gasket. He said, this is what I want to fight Tyrone. We've all agreed it. He's not injured. It's all agreed. Mm -hmm. And he's pulled out. Mm -hmm. So why is he pulling out? Is, is he going to give a reason? What yeah. is the reason? He'll come out. I think he's, he's going to say he's been offered a better deal somewhere or yeah, but he's going a different route. A different route, not that one. <laughs> not that old chestnut. Mm -hmm. So... So basically the show's going on, the show must go on, there's no Tyrone Nurse Darren Tetley but we've got Josh Wade headlining, he's going to be in a good Alley. fight, Cash Alley, the number, number 11 in, in the country of, of, yeah, of, of, right. of Bell Trek, uh, the heavyweights uh, and, pe and somebody people need to look out for the new Cash Alley uh, that Richard Towers is training. Right that's good then, so moving on then. Uh, I've got this on panoramic, it only does uh, 